a rumor and a rally. Oil prices touched new 2016 highs on reports that Saudi Arabia and Russia reached a deal to freeze output. Neither the Russian nor the Saudi oil ministers confirmed the story, but if true, it would be the first step in curbing production that has resulted in a glut of oil worldwide, created chaos in certain stock markets, hurt commodity-dependent economies, and triggered massive layoffs. The hope of a deal sent prices up 4.5 percent to more than $42 a barrel. And that rise in oil lifted stocks. The Dow Jones Industrial Average gained 164 points to 17,721. The Nasdaq added 38. The S&P 500 was up 19. Jackie DeAngelis takes a closer look at the oil rally and whether those historic low prices may soon be a thing of the past. Today's spike in oil prices based on optimism that ahead of the event in Doha on Sunday, producers will come to some accord about a production freeze. In fact, a Russian news agency out with some headlines today saying that the Saudis and the Russians had agreed in principle on a freeze ahead of the event. The date has been on the calendar for about a month, but the skeptics point out that Saudi Arabia said it won't freeze without Iran joining in. And the Iranians have said they plan to ramp production to pre-sanction levels. So what happens next? Difficult to say, but the excitement was enough to push crude through a key level that may point to even further gains. A wild card is what will OPEC do and what will the producing nations do and will there be some collaboration by those nations to limit increases in supply or reduce supply. And that that can affect uh, prices and so you'll see speculation around that in the uh, in the short run and ultimately in those meetings but ultimately it's going to come down to supply and demand one camp says there won't be a deal this is clearly buy the rumor then sell the fact the other camp says there's event risk ahead and we could see 50 dollars oil for nightly business report i'm jackie DeAngelis.